Welcome to the North Curve. Disgusting, nauseating, and downright brutal. No matter what adjective you want to use, it all describes one thing this week. And that's the play of SS Lazio. From start to finish, this will have to go down as the week from hell, or at least the week that paved the way for the season from hell, depending on further results. From a lesson on attacking by Caldieri to an upstaging by that crazy Cassano from Sampdoria, things definitely can't get worse for the Bianco Celesti. Or can they? Well, we have AC Milan to look forward to on Sunday, a team we haven't beat in the league in almost a decade now, so it's very possible we can sink lower than this. Now, the North Curve is an audio blog to have your say, and I would love nothing more than to rant and rave about the trials and tribulations on what's plaguing our season from formations to coaching, and I would love to rip them in a new one. But to be honest, uh, where do we start? Uh, that's the segue into today's issues, and to help us dissect this, uh, basic where, where do we go from here, I'd like to welcome to the North Curve for the first time Emanuele De Dono, Lazio Club Canada Vice President. Manuel, welcome to the show. Thanks, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, I could be better. I'm sure you could do be doing a little bit better. Yeah, for sure, much better. So, Emanuel, we'll get right down to it. Uh, back in November, Lazio went on their previous run of five games without a win. It was easy for me then to pinpoint the Derby loss as the focal point, or I guess the root you could say as the lack of confidence that was bringing them down, giving them the poor results. But now I'm baffled as to how two weeks ago we can go from holding Juventus, the second place team, so tight and almost upset them to bowing down to regional clubs like Cagliari and Sampdoria. And really, where do we go from here and what scares you most about this period? Is it a lack of confidence? What's the silver lining ahead for us? Everybody wants to put it underneath the rug if there was even an issue. Everything has to always look good to keep the confidence high, to keep the rumors away and everything, but I don't know. I've seen some interviews recently when I was in Rome. I saw some interviews, heard things, and uh, just the way they were speaking, the way Rossi was speaking, and I don't know. I didn't get a really good vibe personally. I may be wrong. Uh, It could be time for a change. It could be time to get somebody in there that could... uh, maybe motivate the players differently. Um, um, you know, you never know really what's going on behind the scenes. I I just know that uh, this team can play beautifully one Sunday. Uh, these last two games have been horrible. Uh, I, I, I don't want to say that, the, you know, the players aren't good because uh, obviously they are. Obviously they've proven many times before that they could play at, at high levels. 
I don't even think Carrizo is, is as bad as people are starting to say he is. It's probably, I think a goalie uh, is, uh, the, 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 the confidence in the goalie is very important. And if you play badly one game or you get one or two stupid goals in, it, it, you know, you could lose your confidence. And for a goalie, that's huge. Um, so I don't really even know if uh, it's, it's necessarily a particular player's fault. It could be just the the vibe that's in the club right now, but uh, it's going to be tough. Sunday's going to be tough. It's a big game against Milan. Um, I don't know. We have to just hope for the best. I mean, we're talking about Milan, a team with just the list goes on of how many great players they have. And the thing that scares me most, I have to say, is Lazio going with the lead okay we can we can somewhat hope to defend something but what really baffles me is how when we go behind uh, they, 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 they're so they panic so much in the sense that we're just gonna throw everything forward the, the the balls aren't crisp anymore and everybody's just on their own page and on their own agenda and I think that's the scariest part is and I think that's what it comes down to coaching in that sense and and I don't know you've been around Rome you know you know all the politics and you know, I it, it was brought up in the media this week. I don't know how really how big it really was, but you know there was some some backlash at training at the Fort Mello this week. I don't know. Could you enlighten us a little bit on that? Yeah, no, there was something. Uh, definitely, fans went down to uh, the training camp, the training field, and uh, you know to sort of uh, protest or whatever. And I, I think most of the time they do it just to try to to motivate the players, but. Uh, like I said, I think it's just I think it's a little it's a little bit deeper than than, than just having someone go down there. And uh, I know it got there was a little bit of uh, some of, you know some of the players. Uh, I think Kolarov uh, had yeah, he, he got into it a little bit with some fans. I think. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you know this is I know that the obviously the the, the first reaction is is, is that is to complain and then protest or whatever, but. At the same time, it's moments like these that are very delicate, and everybody just should just remain calm and, and try to be with the team. I know it's easier to say than to actually do, but uh, because then you just you just risk making things that much worse. And last thing we want right now is to keep this uh, losing streak going. We got to get out of it as soon as possible, and just uh, you know, I mean, we came back from my like, game so and we were down uh, three nothing. We were down three nothing and came back three. Three all to tie three all. Uh, I have to say, Udinese was on a very bad run that 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 uh, the last few games before playing us. And as soon as we scored our first goal, they pretty much crumbled again. And so we, I think, found the strength to to, to, to tie it. But to, against a team like Cagliari, who you know they didn't start off well, but I've been watching them and they have been playing better, not you know pretty good soccer lately. Uh, it's still unheard of that we lose at home four to one against uh, Calgary. Uh, I don't know that game. We just messed everything up. Today's game is is a mystery because uh, Sampdoria was not going through a great period. Uh, we needed to come back from that embarrassing loss last Sunday. But you know what? The fights, not really fights, but those that thing that happened. That ha- what happened at the end of the game, where you know. The, the players were getting at each other, and that to me shows uh, that to me shows that something is going on. They're very nervous, and there's there's something that's that's wrong. Yeah, uh, the the fights in the tunnel. The, this was also alluded to even yeah, on Sunday. Know, it's, it's not it's not good to see that, and to me that really shows that uh, they're not playing. As a team, they're not yeah. playing with uh, you know they're they're kind of stressed. They're playing under pressure. They're playing. Uh, I don't know. They're, they're just... Uh, something is bothering... The, There's the, no the, unison in this group. And like I said, everybody has their own agenda. And I think it's it's really evident what you've pointed out with the calmness. If that calm could come back over them and they could start playing as a unit again, I think we could give Milan a really good run for it on Sunday, especially because we're going to have the home crowd. And nobody wants to get on their case anyways. Like like you said, they went to the Ford Mello to maybe get light that fire under them. And I say if, if we can come up with a win... I'm willing to forget these last two games. I don't know about you. Hey, yeah, I mean, uh, winning a game like Sunday against Milan uh, could definitely, definitely change things. And it's games like these that, uh, you know, the team really comes together and wants to win it. They want to win this game for various reasons, to, to, 
to get out of this situation immediately, to beat a big team, which would mean, you know, get back a, a lot of confidence. And uh, I think I think if, if we're able to pull off a good game on Sunday, it's going to be tough. But to beat Milan uh, right now, it's it would be a real big uh, confidence boost. Well, at this point, I... I... AC Milan awaits us and, and we'll have to see how the team really regroups from these last two games uh, games I'd like to forget uh, Emmanuel I would like to thank you for being with us today uh, I hope I'll see you out Sunday at uh, wait for it wait for it Curva Nord Bar in Toronto it's, uh, for sure for Salazio and uh, everybody uh, come down and it's, it's, uh, it's a good atmosphere There's a bunch of guys lots of your fans and hope to see you guys there we're going to rally behind the boys, and they're going to rally on the field, and it's going to be a good day. I can feel it. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Ciao.